<laughs> they had ham, they had bacon, they had chorizo, and they had one other one that I can't remember. I guess it was, uh, it was pig with eggs around it. Welcome back to the logbook. My name is Jeff, but uh, I call myself happy. Specifically, happy that I asked some questions and I did some research because where I was gonna go, wow. Um, I was, yeah, I've been told that is just a no go for, well, anyone. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna, uh, I've been told to stick to the toll highways. Don't even go on the no toll highways. Um, lots of incidents of, the mayor from here got robbed. Her everything was taken from her, um, and uh, she was left on the side of the side of the highway. And that's the mayor. So anyway, regardless, uh, I'm going to take the advice. I'm going to stick to the highways, and uh, there are some cool things along there. Uh, so um, yeah, let's have some fun. Uh, let's go to the map. I recorded this before. I recorded the map before I knew what I like, what not to do. So uh, forgive me. <laughs> Okay, mapping it up. Now, we uh, started in European, up here, and we took the straight down, oh yeah, the straight down route here, and we got to, this is where we had the food, the awesome Cubano, uh, then got down to here, and then cruised all the way through here, and this was Oh, so curvy. I mean, I wish I could do all the curves on there. <laughs> and then, do, 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 all the way to, and we're here right now. And so that's it. So the plan is to go up in the mountains. I haven't uh, heard back yet. So this is sort of where we're going to end up. We're going to just try and go, I think, this way or this way. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll figure it out. But I have, I have to make sure it's safe first. Well, leaving um, Lazada, Lazaro, Cardenia, Cardenia, Lazaro, Cardenia. We're leaving Lazaro, Cardenia, <laughs> and uh, taking the safe route. I'm pretty happy about that. I didn't want to. Yesterday, I felt like garbage. So. Uh, Hopefully we'll feel better. <laughs> um, I guess the problems are um, the robbery is the big deal there. So not not from police, but from um, people like the citizens. So um, yeah, that's and they're apparently very ruthless. They take everything you have. I don't want that, so I'm going to opt for paying for the highway and I should probably tell Arno that as well and Chantel anyway uh, I'm picked uh, Zuantaneo as a destination for breakfast that's the plan so we're gonna head there and then we're gonna find uh, some desayuno and chow down <laughs> So hitting the road. So, uh, I hoping you noticed my brand new tequila t-shirt. This was my purchase in tequila. Yes! I really dig it. <laughs> I don't know, is it too early to <laughs> to wear it? Is it like wearing a you know, Taylor Swift t-shirt at a Taylor, Taylor Swift concert? I don't know. It was a really uh, kind of faux pas when it was Metallica. You know, wear a Metallica t-shirt to a Metallica show. Not that I went to a lot of Metallica shows. <laughs> I'm more pointing out the time in history. <laughs> Let's go with Green Day. It was a faux pas 
to wear a Green Day shirt at a Green Day show that you just bought in the merch booth. So I think I'm far enough away from tequila. And uh, maybe people just go like, oh, tequila, like the liquor, not the brand. <laughs> I doubt it, but whatever. Onward. My first toll today. I'm a little excited. How's it gonna go? Gracias. Gracias. And we're off. <laughs> I kind of want to, I feel like getting breakfast at one of these little places. Hola. I don't think she wanted to wave hello. I think she wanted to sell me some of her stuff. But, being that I have a motorcycle, I don't really have room for stuff. Ooh, there was a unicorn. Oh, floaty. That could have been fun. <laughs> How quickly my uh, <laughs> my rules on taking extraneous things. <laughs> uh, extraneous, I believe that was a word of the day back in California. <laughs> extraneous. Zuantaneo and it is nice looking uh, everything even the side of the highway stuff was beautiful lots of palms Ooh, look at that grass that's an amazing field yeah so this is a nice town <laughs> um, if Zuantaneo sounds familiar, it is the place where Red wanted to go, Morgan Freeman, in the movie um, Shawshank Redemption. So this is uh, this is where I'm not going to do any spoilers, but this is where he wanted to go. And if you haven't seen Shawshank Redemption, first. Slap yourself in the face and then go watch it because it's fantastic. Pretty cool little town. I'm digging it. Red was on to something. So breakfast. We're, I wonder if Red had a breakfast place that he wanted to go to. Probably not because he hadn't been here. And also, it was a long time ago. The movie was in the 90s, and it was based in the 50s. So I'm assuming that, um, yeah, it's not around. Breakfast, 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 breakfast. Don't mess with breakfast. Oh, I, see, I think I see food coming up ahead. Let's see what we got. First we got a red light, now we got a green light. You like my play-by-play? -play? This is the kind of play-by-play -play that you get when you uh, know that you're just going to be riding highways all day. <laughs> you're welcome. This is a food place, food place, food place, food place. Come on, be open. No, that's not a food place. I'm going in here. Just because it feels good. What else we got here? 
proper tourist town. You know you're in a tourist town when they, you got a walker out and about. I feel like I'm going the wrong way. Something makes me feel like I'm going the wrong way. Let's go over the right way. All the cars are going the right way this way. This is so cool. Red, you're killing it. Perfect. Comida snack bar. Oh, yeah. This is exactly what Jeff needs. <laughs> They're really big on uh, the bars in this part of town. <laughs> okay. Well, um, as pretty much every single time, um, <laughs> so I'll go, I'll look forever for food and then, um, either go past a bunch of places that could be good or might be good and then I just find nothing and then continue on or I stop too early, get trash and, um, you know, one block away, there's awesome food. Well, this was the ladder. That is cool. <laughs> and then we can't see it. <laughs> that is a, uh, I don't know, lake or something? I don't know, it doesn't show up on the map. That's pretty cool. These uh, palm trees coconuts on them. That's kind of cool. Las Salinas. I love these little towns. So these towns recently have been selling ah, salt. They're selling salt. I wonder if it's local salt. Oh, okay. And then they've got a lot of jars of things. I'm gonna guess they're salted things. <laughs> That's okay, salt. So that might be a salt, uh, salt lake of some kind. Interesting. This palm tree field or whatever forest goes all the way to the water. You can see it from when I was uh, up on the hill. It is just spectacular. I can't believe it. I don't know, is that like a forest? What do you call it? What do you call a palm tree? Lots of palm trees hanging out together. What's the, the amount of plurality for a palm tree? I hope I looked it up and put it below. Oh, and I'm getting past. Anyway, so I'd really like to uh, throw ships up, but you can see how windy it is because you can see the palm trees and you can see the nuts. What? They're coconuts. So, yeah, you can see the coconuts. But see this side, you can't see them. Anyway. All vulgar uh, thoughts aside, it's really windy out, so I can't put up ships so you can see this wonderful terrain. Uh, anyway, uh, next stop, tacos. <laughs> and also, put your mind out of the gutter, please. This is the one. Here we are. All right, we did find a place. It's not a taco place, but it's a full proper restaurant, which is awesome. That's exactly what I want. And I ordered breakfast. <laughs> At the crack of three. <laughs> wow, well, that was just awesome. I had a omelet that had um, four different types of uh, pig in it. <laughs> it had ham, it had bacon, it had chorizo, and it had one other one that I can't remember. But uh, yeah, it was, uh, I guess it was, uh, it was pig with eggs around it. <laughs> That's pretty funny. All right, back on the road. Well, it's pretty cool that, so the stuff they sell at the little shops on the side of the road is honey, watermelon, salt, 
Coconuts, coconut water. Uh, what else do they got? Uh, jalapeno chips and Coca-Cola. Sometimes Coca-Cola light. So it's pretty, uh, so they grow all that stuff in the area. Pretty awesome. <laughs> I just went over a really long bridge. And these guys are stuck behind the, <laughs> the horse and buggy forever. <laughs> oh, that's so crazy. They are stuck behind that. He's going to go. It's at least two kilometers long, that bridge. And they're all stuck behind. <laughs> oh, and the traffic going this way is um well it's just backed up i mean i had to ride in the oncoming lane the, pretty much the whole bridge <laughs> oh man that's so crazy now this bus has been parked there for a while and there's all the people behind like all the people behind they're all just stuck behind the bus and the bus isn't moving he's <laughs> just parked <laughs> Oh man, the traffic in this town is crazy. Oh, oh, it's so good. Now he's going. <laughs> there are all, all these people are like, yes, okay, finally the bus. They have no idea that there's a donkey and a wagon on the bridge that's gonna hold them up for at least an hour. <laughs> That's so good. Oh. But in this traffic, my the heat of my bike. See, why are chickens so happy when they're selling chicken? They're just high on drugs. That one looks like he's high on drugs for sure. Anyway, the heat coming off my bike in this traffic is insane. Coupled with the heat from the actual temperature of the day. Is uh, it's, it's heating up my, it's baking my loins. I want to get out from behind the bus or whatever this is. So I can stretch my loins. <laughs> How many times can I say loins in one episode? <laughs> I think I could do it. I'm gonna get him on the tope. Ha <laughs> ha! Gotcha. And then the tope. Yes, the great leveler is the tope. Oh, my air out my loins. Oh, 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 oh. oh. wow. Well, at least I'm not stuck behind a horse and buggy. Or donkey, or whatever that was. <laughs> well, I think I'm in Acapulco. So that is kind of where I was told is safe to stay. By Carlos. Carlos was the guy that gave me uh, all the information at the hotel. Very nice of him. He's from Chilliwack. Yeah, I can find a hotel around here somewhere. Pretty beautiful. I think it'll be a little nicer when we get into town a little bit more. Pretty cool though. So, uh... I got... I ate at this place. Gracias! And a uh, really good tacos pastor. And I was able to find a hotel. Which, I would love to bring you along on the way there, which I will the beginning part, then I can shut the cameras off, and then I'm going to forget to turn the cameras back on when I get close to the hotel. It's kind of my bag. So I'll see if I can continue that theme, or I might, uh, I don't know, have a momentary lapse of reason and actually do what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> it's been... Uh, it's been fun on that road. Let's go on a different, let's spice it up a little bit here. Okay, this hotel is in a really beat up area for certain. That's it right there. 
I think this is my way in. Maybe. Nope, wrong one. Maybe it is. What do you think? I mean, that's the hotel there. But, yeah, maybe it is. Okay, let's go try it. This is funny. Oh, it looks like a bad, like an art, artsy 1970s movie. <laughs> anyway, um, ah, what a day. That was uh, the ultimate all day, all straight, all day. Um, but I, uh, I don't know, we had some fun, didn't we? Come on. Like there was looking for food, which was mostly my fault. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, there was all those little things on the side of the road were hilarious. Um, yeah, the, you know, I got you to look at some nuts. <laughs> that was funny. Coconuts, coconuts. Uh, yeah, well, all in all, I mean, it's it's over. I'm staying in a unique hotel. Uh, but, um, yeah, uh, you know, thanks a lot for coming along and uh, making it to the end. Um, anyone that made it to the end, I applaud you. Because <laughs> I barely did. Anyway, um, if you enjoyed today, or if you're still around, Give me a mini thumbs up or a big thumbs up or a high five. It's uh, all in the same little button down there and the like button. And um, I'm not able to flip again, but tomorrow I'm definitely going to flip for other stuff. So today's today just didn't have it in me, but tomorrow is going to be a flip fantastic day. So I'm just going to flip for everything. So uh, stay tuned for that. If you want to see that, subscribe. Press the old subscribe button. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. And uh, go out there, find someone, and uh, make them laugh. Because <laughs> there's two people dueling boom boxes. It's pretty funny. The OXO is boarded up. That's not a good sign. Huh. Let's see what we got around. Classic.